skies along the front range. We start with some clouds as expected. We've now seen everything clear out. Franktown already up to 60. Phil Curry checking in from Douglas County. I'd say we climb at least another one, two, maybe three degrees down that way. In Denver, it's going to be tougher to hit 60. Most of us will stop in the 50s, but obviously that's still on the mild side for this time of year. We have a big storm on the West Coast. Lots of rain and snow in Northern California. You can see the storm spinning in the Pacific uh, off the coast of Portland and Seattle. That storm is still more than 1,000 miles away from us, but it's moving very quickly. The cold front out ahead of the storm will make its way into Colorado at the end of the day tomorrow. It'll usher in cooler weather, as you would imagine, on Wednesday. Cooler, but not that cold for this time of year. The storm's coming from California, not Canada. So while Wednesday will be a colder day, we'll stay away from the frigid weather with this one. Meanwhile, there's the upper level low that'll be back behind the system. It's going to take a track. Unfortunately, that's just a little too far north for us to get much precipitation here along the front range. And because the storm is cool but not cold, I think it's probably going to be too warm for us to get any snow in Denver. For the most part, it should be rain. Maybe a few snowflakes mixed in, but no snow accumulation in Denver. But what we will get here is the wind. Most of the snow stays in the mountains. We'll get some rain down here and especially in the plains, but we will certainly get some wind with this storm gust to at least 50 miles per hour in Metro Denver, stronger east and south. By the end of the day tomorrow, we'll have some snow down here in the San Juan Mountains. And then here's midnight tomorrow night. We'll see that snow spread northward through the rest of the high country. Through at least Wednesday daybreak, we'll be dry in Denver. But then during the day on Wednesday, Again, a rain shower possible with maybe a snowflake mixed in. Better chance we're actually getting some precipitation over here on the Northeast Plains. Some weather models suggesting there could even be some minor accumulation from Sterling up to Julesburg down toward Holyoke, but nothing for Denver in the front range. We just get skipped over the mountain. We'll see at least three to six, maybe four to eight inches of snow at your favorite ski area. And then down here in the San Juans, even higher amounts in those purple shaded areas with at least a foot of snow for ski areas like Telluride, uh, Wolf Creek, and Purgatory. High wind watch already in effect for tomorrow night into Wednesday. Gust to 80 miles per hour. Hurricane force wind starts at 74 miles per hour. So that's how strong the wind's going to be for these areas shaded in the mustard color. We're not included around Denver, Boulder, and Fort Collins, but that's not to say the wind's going to be calm. It's going to be very gusty here. And I do want to mention that high wind watch does include portions of Nebraska as well as Wyoming. So temperatures today coming a little shy of 60, but uh, over Overall, pretty nice day. I think you'll agree for this time of year in the mountains 40s and then tomorrow should be our warmest day of the week. High temperature 62 in Denver, a few 70s in southeast Colorado 40s in the mountains and then behind the cold front we drop down into the upper 40s. That's still warmer than normal. So like I said, Michelle, it's going to be a cool storm but not a cold storm and that's why we're saying more wind than rain instead of more wind than snow in Denver. After that, 51 on Thursday, 42 on Friday for the weekend. Temperatures right around 50 both Saturday and Sunday. We were talking about the Broncos taking on Cincinnati right here on CBS 4 this upcoming Sunday. Not bad. About 50 degrees Sunday afternoon. That's Shop. good football weather right sure there. Is. All right, Ashton. Thank you.